Hello and welcome to the Oracle Salt Calling Web Services from Tuxedo demonstration. Oracle Salt is a web services gateway for Tuxedo. It can be used for exposing Tuxedo services as web services, as well as accessing external web services from Tuxedo. This video will focus on the latter, that is, accessing external web services from Tuxedo. With Oracle Salt, a Tuxedo application can access web services just as if they were regular Tuxedo services. Developers can integrate web services calls using a configuration-driven approach and at the same time take advantage of the performance, reliability, and scalability of the SALT gateway. Using a gateway is also helpful when it comes to configuring extra features such as security, encryption, transactions, reliable messaging, or proxy settings. The web services standards supported are security, reliable messaging, transactions, attachments, addressing, all by way of standard policy assertions. Also supported are encryption, or SSL, SOX proxy, and message plugins. This is an example of the use of calling a web service from a Tuxedo application. In a stock broker application, we need to use a cash account to buy or sell stock. This is implemented directly using a Tuxedo application. Then, to either check stock prices or make purchases or sales, this application will need to consult livestock prices online by accessing a stock quote provider web service, for example. This is where the SALT gateway comes in. The following steps are used to call an external web service from a Tuxedo application. WSDL CVT is used to convert web service interfaces into SALT configuration files. Then we edit the configuration to reference the previously generated configuration files or artifacts into the application. An optional step can be performed to generate the code for the program that is going to invoke the web service. And now let's do a demonstration. We'll start by choosing a stock quote web service from a public test site, for instance, like this one. We'll look at its interface, or WSDL, which is here. I'll copy the URL for the interface and use it in the WSDL CVT command. This is an Oracle Salt command that translates the web service interface into Oracle Salt configuration artifacts. We'll see some warnings such as HTTP binding. Oracle Salt supports the SOAP binding, which is more commonly used. The WSDL is turned into a Tuxedo interface. Tuxedo types to translate data to or from Tuxedo. XML types to translate data to and from SOAP and also SALT definitions for configuring the service into the gateway. The next step is to add the Tuxedo interface into the Tuxedo service metadata repository. Then we'll edit the SALT configuration to add a reference to the SALT definitions generated earlier. These definitions do the link between endpoints, schema types, messages, and also add a service entry to the Tuxedo bulletin board, which we'll use to identify this web service with respect to the Tuxedo application. The binding needs to be referenced so that it is known to the gateway and it can properly import the service. I will simply copy and paste from the definition, definitions generated here. I will only copy and paste the first binding, which is a SOAP 1.1 binding.
first I copy the binding identifier and then I'll copy the port name. The port is what, what identifies the network endpoint of the web service internally for the gateway. Okay, now we are ready to load these definitions into the gateway configuration. A warning message is displayed because the imported interface contains multiple addresses. We can, we can ignore that as it only applies to the reverse scenario which is when we want to expose tuxedo services as web services. Before anything else, I'll generate the tuxedo types header using MKFLD header 32. And I'll use this on the tuxedo types we've seen generated before. Then we can generate client side code using the tm unload repos command. This retrieves interfaces from the service metadata repository and generates C code. I'll do it for the get quote web service and into a C source file. Okay. First, I'll include the tuxedo types header that I just generated. The tuxedo types allocations have been pre-generated, but, but they still need to, to be adjusted. The type here generate, reflects the in generated interface. This is the input, which is a stock symbol. The service on the other side only expects this as an input. I'll enter the symbol here, then fix up the code. The symbol is included in an enclosing element, which is reflected here. The tuxedo types are a mirror of the XML types used by the SOAP web service. This completes the calling por portion. For the output, I will just simply print the whole information as it's returned by the web service. Okay, this should be enough to make a web service call. Finally, compile and link the client program. Then I'll boot the application. Before running the client, let's see how it is re represented in Tuxedo. With TM admin, will list the services and see that the external service to invoke is represented like a local service. <coughs> the get quote service is advertised by the salt gateway and maps to the stock quote web service. This is how an, app, an existing application such as the stock broker application I mentioned before can integrate with the web service. Now I'll run the test. This is the symbol I gave. And this is the quote. I'll run it again. I 
Let's see if it changes. Okay, it has changed. After running this, let's go back to TM Admin, list of services, and we can see the number of invocations that have occurred. So this is it. This has been done real time, so we see how easy it can be. We've seen how simple it is to invoke an existing web service from Tuxedo, performing all the steps from scratch, starting with an actual web service interface and ending with an application calling it. And let's not forget about the benefits of running SALT, performance, scalability, reliability, and standard support. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit the Tuxedo page on OTN.